Hello nerd friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brendan, AKA Cliff Jumper, and I am getting to check out one of these X-Cool electric screwdrivers today. So let's see how that goes. Because I couldn't get an actual sonic screwdriver. Sorry, Doctor Who fans, but I think this might be the next best thing. So let's open it up and try it out, see how it goes. All right, so um, many times I have gotten the opportunity to do some review videos and I'm sent some bit of electronics that needs to be charged before we can actually do anything with it. I suspect that will be the case with this. I haven't opened it yet, but uh, let's unbox it. Let's see what's inside. And if it does need to be charged before we can mess around with it, then I'll just do the whole fast forward thing and we'll come back on that. But let's see what this looks like. So this is supposed to be an electronic precision screwdriver that's really good for hobbyists who work on electronic stuff that have the fiddly little tiny special screw bits. We are going to experiment on one of these. I've already done a video on the Fat Noise DMS system that came in my 2004 R32. So we'll use the screwdriver to crack this open and see how well it works. So we've got a big box and a small box. Kind of... Ooh, it's like a metal case. It looks like there's a. What do we have here? Oh, it's like spring loaded action there. Check that out. So, big button on the back, and that opens it. So, this, this keeps all your stuff. Nice, all right, so inside we've got the actual electric screwdriver and all the bits that go with it. Looks like it's got your typical strange security bits that you would need for various computers. Oh, there's even more on the back. Well, check that out. There's, there's a whole array of them back here. So we've got the various weird security bits. It looks like we've got some Torx bits. We've got some, uh, what are here? We've got some, some very interesting bits. And it looks like this is a magnetic holder too. So as I pull them out, they come right out and then they go back into place to just hang out there. So they're not, like I think if I were to shake this, they'd go flying. We got some drill bits as well. Standard Phillips head, flat head. And it looks like we've got some of the weird special ones that are required for working on Apple products. You know what I'm talking about. All right, cool. So that is a cool little thing here. And it looks like there's also a, yes, yeah, some sort of a, a collar. We'll have to mess around with this to see how this all works. Okay, so this, it's got one collar for one size. And it looks like it's got a larger collar. It's a collet type setup, just like a Dremel tool. I wonder if the call is even necessary on this. Oh, it's, it's not. All right, so look. Take out the collet and it just goes right in. We've got a hex shaped end piece there. This just goes in and then we have our There's a little display here. Shows which direction we're going. Shows the battery charge. It actually did come with a full battery, so that's nice. And it looks like this, when you stick it in a case, will charge it. So I don't have to stick a, a USB into this thing. It's the actual end of the case that has the USB-C that will charge it. Yep, I can see the little charging things right there. Great, cool. What else do we need to know about this? So I wonder if I take this nice looking collar and I just stick it back on there. Can I then take one of these? Oh yeah, that'll work. So then it looks pretty. 
All right, I like that. This is cool. All right, well, let's let's put it to an actual test. And I'm gonna need. Oh, I never even looked in here. Let's see what's in this thing. There's one more box to explore that I've not opened. Uh, oh, extra tools. More, more tools are good. So it looks like we have some precision tweezers. Great, that's always helpful. The USB cable and some spudgers for separating stuff as you're working on electronics. That's actually super cool. I like that. Nice. Good balance. Good feel. All right. Let's address the DMS and see how well this thing works. So it looks like we're going to need a Phillips head screw. Yep, that's the right size. And so we'll hit that to remove. Let's go for it. Ooh, nice. Okay. Easy. Kind of want to see the display while I'm doing it, just to see what it says. Okay. Okay, this thing is cool. It, it I mean, it's, it's, it's called an X cool, but it's, uh, it's got some good weight to it. It doesn't feel chintzy. The buttons have a good solid feel to them. I like the little digital display on it. It's got some decent torque. You don't want to over torque something when you're working with parts this small. Let's try it on the other end. Let's try re-securing. screws. Check the tightening torque. Right. Not a magnetic head. That's important to know. I guess you don't want magnetic heads when you're working with small... Ooh, yeah, definitely has some good torque. Nice. All right, I like this thing. Definitely feel like for some of these fiddly little things, having the, the electric screwdriver to go in and zip it off and on is gonna be super helpful for, you know, me not using accidental kung fu monkey voodoo death grip. As we know, that's a theme on my channel but I actually got to use this in an unexpected manner, not just on little precision stuff like computers and electronics repairs. I actually used this to work on my Corrado to do some interior repair, and this was torquey enough to remove some of the interior screws under the kick panel, which are really notoriously hard to fit a full-size drill under there and get the stuff out, but this worked great to achieve that, so bonus. This is um, this has been kind of an extra blessing that I did not expect reviewing this. So th this is made by a uh, company called Cool Gadget. They're a subsidiary of MakeBlock. They've only been around since 2023, so just like a year or so, but kind of reminds me of the old Think Geek days. They find products that they think are cool, test them in their lab, and then put them out there uh, to make sure that it's high quality. So anyway, this thing is awesome. Definitely a fan. And honestly, there's there's so much. It's got so many different bits that go with it. The way that they lock in with magnets to this uh, very handy case. It all folds away in and, and keeps it nice and stored locks in there. This is this is such a nice setup. So I'm very, very happy 
with this. I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of use out of it, and I'm sure you will too if you work on small electronic items or even, you know, this could be really handy for some car repairs. So, uh, yeah, lots of ways you could use it. Thumbs up. I'm going to put just the the receiver of the collet back in place. With that, with that it locks in very nicely and recharges. So we're we're good, we've got power, it's in place. So sticking it back in the case. This is very Star Trek, by the way. Both the, the electronic nature of it, but the actual the casing, how it locks in there. Everything's in there now. This is this is rad. I love this. All right. I think I'm going to be getting a lot of use out of this thing as I work on a lot of small electronics, especially guitar projects, um, constantly doing stuff like fiddling with old old technology, because <laughs> that's kind of what I do. But all right, I'm going to leave a link in the description where you can find one of these things. Um, visit my Amazon store or, or hit the link down there. And yeah, if you work on little electronics, cool. I will report back if I have any issues with it, but I'm, I'm, I'm digging this. This is super cool. Cliff Jumper approved. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. Maybe share with your tech nerd friends if a electronic screwdriver that is a, a fine precision screwdriver would be up their alley. This might make a really good Christmas gift or birthday gift or I don't know. I know Father's Day has just passed by. But um, maybe you don't need a special occasion to give somebody a gift. Go for it. Anyway, God bless. See you next time. Bye-bye. And on that terrible disappointment, <laughs> it's time to say goodbye. We'll be back. <laughs>